Jesus. Ebuka came to tension everybody tonight. Guys, Ebuka came to scatter all the tables. And I'm not going to kid you guys. Ebuka completely broke the tables. He packed the pieces, used it to do firewood, and set the house on fire. I swear down, guys, tonight is never going to remain the same anymore in that house. Like, what the actual F? It's not a game, it's a rich thing. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I can't keep calm guys. Like tonight's live eviction show was simply on fire. I'm talking about from Ebuka's outfit to the stage setting to the tension in music to the bloody crazy questions that Ebuka asked all the housemates and I was like, hi Ebuka is back. Guys, week one, week two, eh? Ebuka has been very nice, you know, he has not been asking the housemates crazy, crazy questions. You know, Ebuka, Ebuka has this reputation of always asking questions that's going to cause confusion and commotion from all the housemates. Guys, today, we thought that Ebuka was going to play nice with these housemates. But he said, Ebuka came. He came prepared. His Zagbada was enough motivation for him. Ebuka asked these housemates questions that, in my wildest dreams, I did not think he would ask them because I thought that Ebuka had changed. Now guys, before I continue the story, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, you know what to do. Please pause this video, okay? And click on the red subscribe button to become a part of this family. And if you always want to receive a lot of my videos, I upload videos multiple times daily, you will not miss a detail of the ongoing people at Niger lockdown show. So please turn on post notification to join the notification gang and you will not miss out on anything. Now guys, when Ebuka started tonight's live eviction show, he started with some very very crazy questions as i have said now first of all he mentioned ozo and he congratulated ozo you know on winning hoh happy birthday in areas to ozo as he said and then he asked um ozo about his outburst on wednesday to prince according to him was there something else going on was it because prince went to use the bathroom or was it something else and Ozo said that no that it was strictly only because prince went to use the bathroom you know because everybody was under pressure during their rehearsals for the um for their wager task and he felt like prince disrespected all the housemates by leaving the gathering and going to use the bathroom <laughs> trust ebuka not to believe Ozo's answer so ebuka said that but nengi has mentioned before that it was because of the truth or their game that they played that made her engage herself in that um, demonstration of Prince's favorite sexual position, you know, that caused or that probably caused Ozo to overreact the way he did. And then Ebuka asked Ozo that don't you think he overreacted or was it because of only the fact that Prince went to use the restroom or because of that truth or their game because that cost you not to talk to Nengi in that house for one week. And then Nozo still remained the stand saying that no, that he felt like Prince disrespected all the housemates and then he knew that he overreacted and that was why he immediately apologized to Prince and the rest of the other housemates for his outburst. And then guys, Hebuka moved on to Dorothy. <laughs> Guys, this one will crash you. <laughs> so, guys, Ebuka asked Dorothy that there seems to be a dynamics in a relationship with Ozo. That there's a time in the house that she had admitted to Lucy and one or two other people that she actually has legit feelings for Ozo. So, the question he asked her was, is she being overly protective of Ozo because she's his bestie or because she has feelings for him? And Dorothy was like, I can't remember saying that Ebuka said no. I remember. <laughs> Guys, oh my that is sweet me for body. I say yes. When you want to claim amnesia or selective memory, ah, Ebuka, Ebuka will sniff it out of you. As in, Dorothy was so uncomfortable. It was very obvious that she couldn't answer the question. Like, everybody was like, ah, even V was like, hey, you know, <laughs> the answer was like, ah, because Dorothy is always 
saying it in the house like braggy braggy she's always very very strong on her opinion that no she cannot date Ozo. Ozo is just a friend they're just friends as if these are who are you trying to deceive we see everything we hear the conversations going on in the house so we know what you guys have been talking about you know and then she said that no that she doesn't have feelings for Ozo. that it was only once that she saw Ozo passing by in the house and then she made a statement that oh he's so cute that there's zero feelings if can say zero feelings she said yes and then Ebuka moved on to Pastor Bright talk and Ebuka asked Bright that does he believe Dora at all and Bright was like no he does not believe Dora Ebuka asked him why he said he thinks that Dora is not saying the truth and Ebuka was like do you think that there is a triangle there and Bright said yes that he feels that Ozo and um, that there is a triangle there so Ebuka asked Bright that who does he think that um Ozo is leaning towards more too. And Bright said that he feels that Ozo is leaning more towards Nengi. Nengi was there smiling. <laughs> and guys, this last question that Ibuka asked the housemates, guys, he sweets me. As in, guys, he sweets me for body. Wait, 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 wait. This one was directed at Nengi. So Ibuka said to Nengi that he has noticed that she wants to eat a cake and have it guys i know we all understand that what that adage means right you know so he said that and then he also said that she's leading people on especially ozo that what is she doing i said chai ebu cannot expose this girl strategy oh this house shall never remain the same after this question no oh. so ebu can said to her that apparently she had told people in the house that she had a relationship outside the house but inside the house she seems to be leading people on especially Charlie Ozo, that what is she doing? Hey God, <laughs> guys, cameraman showed Ozo's face. I could not laugh. <laughs> oh my goodness! And then he was like, "No, I already told him that I have a relationship outside. We are just good friends. We're just good friends." And then Buka was like, "Are you sure?" And she said, "Yes, we are just good friends." Hey, 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 guys, this is serious. <laughs> This is serious. I swear down, guys. Like, as I, I, I've been saying this in this video, the house will not remain the same anymore. Dorothy has been exposed. Nengi has been exposed. I am exposed. Why am I saying exposed? Nengi has been exposed. <laughs> Beboru. Beboru has made me blunder. Oh, my God. But, guys, seriously, I am so happy that the old Ebuka is back. The Ebuka that is my kindred spirit is back. The Ebuka that is the shaker, the breaker, the slayer of fashion, the breaker and slayer of tables, the breaker and shaker of relationships, the exposer and revealer of strategies is back on the show. And guys, hey, I am here for the drama. Like I'm living right now for the drama. And so after all those questions that Ebuka asked the housemates, that was when he revealed the four nominated housemates, all the bottom four housemates. So we have Eric, Kaisha, Tochi, and Tricky T. And then the housemates started going into the diary session to go and nominate the two least favorite housemates that they would like to see going home. And guys, I am not going to scream about this because I've already predicted it on my channel several times. The two housemates that were evicted tonight were Eric and Tochi. I am not really surprised guys. It's not like I was actually praying for these people to be evicted but because of Eric and Lilo's relationship in the house, Eric and Lilo especially, they did not really mingle with the rest of the housemates. They did not really show their full potential. They did not really sell themselves to the viewing public and the voting public. So people already got tired of seeing them in the house since week two. It was only a miracle that Eric was not evicted alongside Lilo last week. For Tochi guys, I am not really surprised. Tochi is one of those housemates that has been really, really slow in his progress in the house. So whilst every other housemate in the house have been trying, you know, to make themselves very, very conspicuous, very, very obvious and out there, you know, he has been very, very into his shell. And of course, it's very obvious that he has had a lot of struggles in the house, you know, trying to put up his self-esteem above the, the ego of the rest of the guys in the house. You know, he has always complained about how people intimidate people, how people make themselves look like they are better than other people. So guys, I wasn't really, really surprised at all. Now let's move on to Ibuka's interview with these housemates. 
felt great and he felt grateful you know for the platform he cannot wait to go back into his real life and set up things in motion for himself and Ibuka asked him why he felt uh, why he felt the rest of the housemates voted him out and he said well maybe because he has not really connected with most of the housemates and Ibuka asked him if he felt he was distracted at some point he said yes he was distracted so Ibuka asked why didn't you undistract yourself and he said oh Ibuka it's not easy now you know now you know Lilo was the person that was closest to in the house blah 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 and um, Ibuka asked him how he felt about Lilo he said he still feels the same way that he cannot wait to reconnect with Lilo outside the house he's gonna go look for her so that they can reconnect I said okay nice one you know and then Ibuka also asked him if he was aware that Lilo had something outside the house and if he felt like he was disrupting Lilo's relationship outside the house and he said no that they actually had a conversation about it you know so he's gonna go look for Lilo it's now up to Lilo to take him or not so guys right now I can imagine the look on Lilo's face because I've been watching a lot of Lilo's interviews and I've noticed that she's actually not happy with Eric in fact in most of her interviews she has plainly and blatantly said that Eric took advantage of her weakness of her gullibility to him so guys do you think that Eric is gonna find it funny when he comes into the real world now and sees all these interviews and hears all those things that Lilo has said about him what do you guys think I do not know if that relationship is going to work at all because already Lilo has announced to the public um, via social media platforms anyways it's not like she held a, con a first con um, um, press conference so guys <laughs> but she has said it um, via social media platforms that she's back with a boyfriend I even saw a card you know of, um, from either the boyfriend or whoever you know saying I have, been, I have missed you or you have been missed welcome back blah 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 so guys let us watch that space and see how it goes of course I'm going to be giving you guys all the juicy details on my channel channel now let's move on to tochi's interview on the stage with ebuka and then guys ebuka also interviewed tochi and asked him about his stay in the house you know how he felt about the housemates nominating him and he said that well there's nothing you can say about that because everybody plays their game how they want to play it so ebuka asked him what are his plans and he said he intends to go into different businesses especially acting and ebuka said he's glad that he mentioned acting because he really killed their way presentation so guys Ebuka went back into the house and started scattering tables again guys can somebody just tell Ebuka I am screaming hallelujah on his behalf right here like this guy just gave me so much joy tonight I swear down Ebuka welcome back to the savage zone brother you have been missed this time around Ebuka's questions were for Erica so he asked Erica you know what does she mean by mental and physical attraction that so far as is concerned it is on this show that he came to hear about mental and physical attraction that he feels like she's playing games you know she just like Nengi she wants to eat a cake and have it conveniently that what is she doing with Kidwire and Lekon and then she said that they are just friends that they everybody knows their place that um, she has had conversations with all of them Kidwire knows that they are just friends Lekon also knows that they are just just friends as well you know and then Ebuka said if she feels that anyone is getting hurt in the process of all this entanglement and then she said that yes that she knows that Lekon is hurt and wants to give him space because he requested for space so she wants to give him space and also do everything in her power not to make him hurt anymore you know and Ebuka asked if she is actually giving him space and she said yes and then Ebuka asked okay so who is Kidwire to you who is Lekon to you and she said that Kidwire is a special friend Kidwire is a bestie I see Erica Waka Erica Waka dear like this girl is cray cray she's freaking cray cray so Lekon that used to be your bestie is no longer your bestie he is now demoted to the position of friend then Kidwire has now been elevated to status of friend to bestie this girl is crazy like guys this girl is crazy so while erica was answering all those questions kid Raya was just looking at her like this and then he kept quiet so Ebuka moved on to him and said that during the week he was caught up in a conversation with a certain housemate 
Ebuka, thank you for not mentioning Nengi's name. Otherwise, that house was born this night, you know. So Ebuka was like, oh, that there's a certain housemate that he was giving lessons on how to be flirtatious, you know. So the question is, is that what he's doing with Erica? Is that what Erica used to aim? You know, is he playing games with Erica? And then he said that, no, that Erica is his friend. He enjoys her company. He has a good time with Erica, you know. And naturally, he's a flirt. That who That's who he is. Or naturally, that is who he is. But people see him as being a flirt, you know. So he is not flirting with Erica. And then Ebuka asked him that, um, do you have feelings for her? Or you are just flirting with her? That he wants a definite answer. And, um... Um, Kid Wire said that the truth is he's not even sure right now, you know, but he's enjoying his time with Erica and he enjoys her company, so he's not even sure if he eventually has feelings for her, then he's going to tell her. And I'm like, wait, oh, Chile go do um, Kid Wire, be no. was it not last night that America was drunk from the party? And then she was being delusional, the way she was talking, everything she was saying, her, her, her statements were incoherent. And you were beside her bed and you were telling her, oh my God, I fucking love you so much. I'm like, guy, do you think that us, the viewers, are black? Why is it that all these housemates, when they do things and even can ask them questions, they deny it blatantly, thinking that us, the viewers, are not even seeing what's going on in that house? <laughs> like people you guys need to check your say your sayings in that house because <laughs> it's not funny anymore like we saw these things we heard everything so Ebuka moved on to Lacon and said, so obviously Lacon has seen everything that is going on. Lacon is aware of the situation. So where does it stand? Is it uh, make your way or and leave or keep tickling you until you come back? Does he think that that is what Erica is doing to him? Does he think that Erica is waiting for him to come back, you know, or tickling him so that he will come back? And then Lacon said that the truth is he doesn't know what Erica is doing. But as for him, he has asked for space because he noticed that there is no point in this whole thing and he doesn't want to stress himself out or he doesn't even want erica not to be happy you know ebuka, uh, ebuka asked lekon what are you going to do about it and lekon said he has asked for space he's going to give us space and ebuka said are you keeping your space though and i love that question that ebuka asked because the truth is lekon keeps on saying i'm going to keep my space but dude is not keeping his space dude is obsessed that is the word lekon is legit obsessed with Erica guys and in as much as he keeps he keeps telling everybody I'm gonna give her space I'm gonna give her space guys I do not think that this dude is ready to let go I don't think he's ready in fact he has completely roped himself around Erica and the idea that they are meant to be together so guys do you really think that Lekon is ready to give Erica space, you know. And then Ebuka moved on to Athoni and said that obviously last night during the party, there was a reconciliation between herself, V, and you know, um, I think Tolani Badge, you know. And then Ebuka asked her if she feels that um, the reconciliation was actually genuine. And Wathoni said that for her, well, um, Tolani Badge is her friend, she likes Tolani Badge, and she has always told Tolani Badge that she has the name of her bestie outside the house, you know. So, whatever it is, you know, she believes that they are cool now, you know. And then we can ask that what's her opinion on Tolani Badge, you know, and the old Prince situation. And she said that she knows that Tolani Badge likes Prince a lot, you know, so she doesn't want to involve herself, she has not even allowed herself to think about about it and then um Ebuka asked if she's surprised about Prince and Tolani's relationship and she said no she's not surprised because she has always known that they feel something for each other you know so Ebuka gave the housemate a word of advice he said that he has noticed that a lot of them have gone into their shadows all because of the eviction so he advised them that they should stay consistent stay sharp and try to win the money so ladies and gentlemen that is all for this particular episode of frankly speaking with glory i'm going to bring you guys more gist tomorrow have an amazing night's rest bye